Okay, so once the cover is off, what I always do is I take and I plug it in and assess what's going on. In other words, see what shape the light bulbs are. And now you can see these are the original light bulbs. Because from the factory, they put a piece of tape over them to hold them in place. And so we know that these are the original light bulbs. And the original light bulbs are a daylight bulb. That and you by the D. Yeah, see the daylight on there. The, yep. yep. F14, T12, and T, the 14, the, the T12 is the diameter. This is a T12 and this is a T8. That's a smaller diameter. But again, you know, like I say, you can see these original bulbs, so that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, you have your two starters, one starter for each bulb and one ballast for each bulb. So I always look at the bulbs, if they have any, this, these are obviously being original, they're, they're still actually not that bad of shape. This one here is you can see is quite burnt. So, and I always replace them when I do a, a thing. Now, uh, Steve, would you tell us about a recent customer that had to replace four bulbs in a scenorama? <laughs> yeah, well, actually it's five, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what happened is, and, and you'll notice if you have one bulb that's out, obviously try the bulb in the, in the starter first. But if the bulb immediately, it lights up briefly and, and then goes, you have a bad ballast. And I had a customer that went through five bulbs before he brought it to me. And, and, and he proceeded to tell me that he went through five. I said, you did that five times? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, thank you for doing that. I said, but the, the, you're the guy that I need, that I live in the house that I do that you, because of guys like you. <laughs> After once, maybe you should uh, thought of it. Anyway, um, so yeah. yeah so if, if a bulb burns out instant you put it in, yeah, the bulb's ruined. But... Don't do another one until you replace the, the ballast. Okay. Occasionally, occasionally you'll get one of these that buzzes also when it gets hot. You can kind of feel them. They're, they're, if they stay cold, they're good. Um, but either, either, these work or they don't. And where do you get those? Are those a HAMS exclusive transformer? No, can you no. They're, they're getting a little harder to find because fluorescent bulbs are kind of on their way out. Another, I, I should mention, we mentioned these were daylight bulbs. These are the ones that I prefer that you could also get the cool white, which is designated with a CW. Uh, those will work, but they don't give you the same vibrance. And right, right, yeah. Light. I prefer a daylight bulb. And you'll get guys that'll say, well, I put LEDs in there, and I, I'm not an LED fan. I, I did, they don't give the same, the same look. I prefer to keep them original that way. I mean, they have to each his own. Okay, so we already know... The scene is scratched. You can see that here. Uh, the the motor is not working. I did have it working there a little bit, but and it'll maybe start again here. But it's definitely weak. There's there it goes. Okay, yep. and you can see the scratch. It's not bad, but it, it's right down the center of the. And so I mean, and it's up to the individual. But I'm going to replace this because uh, these signs are you know two thousand dollar sign. And you want them, you want them as perfect as you can get them. And somebody out there in Ham's Land is saying, "Well, uh, as expensive as they are, and as mechanically declined as I am, have you ever touched them up successfully?" I have never seen anybody able to do that, uh, and I've seen people try, but uh, it usually, well, always looks worse than than it <laughs> did with scratch. So, um, I, I I don't know how you could possibly touch that up. It, it just <laughs> It just, you, you just can't do it. And it's the difference between the transparency, which allows the water to shine through, and the line background, and the opacity, which does not allow the lines to show through in the trees and such. And that is a tricky combination. It is, yes. Uh, there you can kind of see the scratch a little bit more. And like I say, as opposed to some of them, this one isn't, isn't bad, but like I say, the, the sign it deserves to be fixed correctly. So what we're gonna do now, uh, so already we know we need a scene, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna put a motor in here because that would well you know will fail probably rather quickly and obviously we do the balls so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble this. So we realize that this is uh, repeat information here, but Steve got the whole back glass of the scenorama cleaned off, and we just thought you for a refresher course here. The blue marble background is notoriously fragile, and you can see it's nicotine stained and old. So Steve, again, would you show how you okay. carefully remove? Yes. Okay, what, 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 what they did originally with this is they took these three pieces, the black grid, the logo plates in behind here, and the blue marble, and they laid them all in the sign, and then they had a machine that come and, and 
came down and it melted these little tabs it, to hold everything in place. Now these, of course, hold the black grid in place. These hold the, the entire assembly. So what you do, what I do, I should have waited here, but you can kind of see as, as they're, they're melted. What I do is I just take a pliers and squeeze each one of those. And I say it, the stuff is already gone now, so you can't really see it, but you see maybe see some of the remnants here. But if you just squeeze them, what happens then is that melted portion will come off leaving just these little tabs left and then you can just lift that entire assembly carefully out. Now of course if you're going to save this blue which this one actually is in pretty good shape which I'm gonna I'm not going to replace that because it's in nice original shape you have to be really careful because like I say this like Barry said this is very fragile from the heat of the light bulb. Now sure it's a little yellowed but if you hold it up it, it looks really good yet so I'm going to reuse that. Not that you can't replace it, but that's that's how you get them out without damaging them. All right, Steve. All right. Us. I think we've touched on this once before, but as I was saying earlier, now when you take this glass out, these these metal bars kind of hold the glass in place, and these are notoriously what a lot of times will scratch the seam. So I take and I eliminate these guys. Don't. I've seen you even throw these out. They're worth yeah, they're, 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 they're Really, they don't have any work. And you can see the original plexiglass. See how bad that is? You don't really see it that bad until you, until you look at a fresh piece. <laughs> and that is probably one of the easiest, simplest ways of uh, refurbishing a Cinerama is once you Upgraded get that oh, gosh, new yeah. plexiglass in there. Amazing. So, okay, so what I do is when I replace this, this is a, obviously a pattern that I've made, but as you can see, the regular plexiglass is quite a bit bigger. And you see those holes that I've drilled? This is, I cut the plexiglass that big, and then what I do is I place that in there, and you see how that fits right over the... That over is the, slick. Yeah, and that way you don't need those bars. Of course, I, again, I do, not re, I do not put these in here. I just did it for, for to locate it, but that's, that's, this is my pattern for me cutting out the new glass. And you just put that over your new bigger plexiglass and you can see as it, it rests at the bottom of the case. So that takes some of the load off the yep. screws too. Yep. So, mm -hmm. And do you recall the size of this? Uh, 14 by 12. 14 by 12. Tell your local hardware store that and get yourself a new plexiglass. Yep. Right, now the roof panels on a, on a small Cinerama are held on by screws. Like I say I've already taken them out but they're easily accessible. There's four in each one. And as you notice the overhang on these roof panels, there's two d different lengths. There's the short one, and then there's the long one. Obviously, you see the difference. Now, if it, you can put on, well, I suppose you could put two long ones on too, but uh, obviously the overhang would be, but if you ever see one that the roof panels are sitting like this, somebody's put two short ones on, and, and not that it doesn't work, you know, it will work obviously, but it doesn't look right. And also explain too, these were usually molded in pairs, right? So yes. a lot of times when a person gets a replacement roof piece, it will not necessarily match. See how these, and even there's a little variance. Yeah, there is. A little warm, you know, mm -hmm. just slight, but. And these are probably original. And one of the cheap ways I found of cleaning these out is awesome cleaner. I know I've uh, repeated that before, but you spray it and it gets in all these recesses and you can take an old toothbrush and just brush vertically down, and once you get that done and wiped off, then hit it with Armor All, and boy, it makes mm -hmm. those things just shine and pop. Yep. Yep. So there's your roof panels up on a rooftop.